So now that we have figured out what title tags are, let's go to the next elusive thing, which is called meta descriptions. All right. Now, the second most important thing that you need to look out for when you're doing your SEO is what's called a meta tag. All right. And or the meta description. All right. It is part of a meta tag, but the description of that meta. Now, a meta description is a brief summary on a page that goes into the uh, search engine results page, which is called SERPs. All right. And it is displayed right below the title tag. So take a moment. Just go into Google right now and type in something that makes sense. Let me see if I can help you out with that. Just so that it, 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 it clears your uh, conscience and so you have an understanding of what it is that I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to try and move the camera a little bit. Hopefully we can see what I'm trying to uh, put across there. So this is the title that we were talking about earlier. And this is the description. All right. The description is the words that then give more information based on what it is that you have mentioned in your title. And I'm hoping that while you're working on um, your website, you have a clear understanding of what it is that you do, who you do it for, and why anybody should care. And this is where meta titles and meta descriptions come into play. Now, these meta descriptions, they do not directly impacts your search rankings, but they influence the click through rate. So what I'm trying to say here is, all right, when we're doing SEO, we're doing it both for robots and for human beings. For robots, it's pretty much um, all the other technical stuff that goes on behind the scenes. But when somebody is making critical decisions, whether to click through your website or not, they need to read at that descriptive level, are you saying who you are or are you providing the service, um, you know, that you say you're going to provide? So, you know, Google tries to explain it very um, in their own non-jargony way, which says, you know, a meta description tag should generally inform and interest users with like a really short and relevant summary of what that particular page is about. Now, it's like a little pitch. It's like your little elevator pitch that is then used to convince the user that the page they've clicked onto is exactly what they're looking for. Now, I'm gonna come back to the example of our book again, all right? Remember, we said this was the title, okay? Now, if your, your meta description is basically this part of the book, it gives you a summary of what you're about to read and why it should matter to you. Half of the time when somebody looks at a book, they look at the title and then they go straight to the back to see what the title, I mean, what the description of the book is. This now gives you the fortitude or the, you know, the, um, the intention to then go maybe to the first part, depending on how the book is created, to this first part. This is all selling to you asking you to keep opening the pages. Half of the books that go into a library are never open because first of all, what they're describing does not entice the person at that particular moment. And they do not actually let the person understand who they are and what it is that they actually do. So make sure your website is not one of those websites on the internet that's just gathering internet dust. <laughs> All right. So Google typically also you have to be careful there because Google trucks meet meta descriptions. So they want it to stick around the 150 to 160 character range, because if everybody was allowed to write all that information, well, people will write their whole website in the descriptive part of the website. So make sure you are a you know, providing an accurate summary of your content and while you're keeping it under 60 characters. 
And if you fail to do that, look at how people are writing and controlling the world using Twitter, which only gives us 120 characters.